Hafner, Application Equipment Product Specialist. To engage the drive system, first we'll choose what range that we want to operate in, either low or high. We'll turn on the TMS, and then we'll go find the trigger, hold the trigger in, move the handle in the direction we want to go. So we'll go for forward. As soon as the machine engages, you'll feel the machine start to move. You'll get the green arrow on the dash as well. And then as I push the handle forward, it'll accelerate. And if I put it back to neutral, it'll hold on to that speed. And if I want to slow down, I can pull the handle back until the machine comes to a stop. And then you can put it back to neutral. If I want to switch it into reverse, engage the switch, pull it back. Machine will engage into reverse. As soon as that's done, you can let go of the switch and then speed up or slow down as needed. You can also utilize the shuttle shift, which is as I'm going down the field, I can depress the trigger switch, slide the handle to the left. The machine will slow down, go into reverse, start backing up to the speed that I have programmed into the monitor. Once I've backed up far enough, I can depress the switch and go left again. It'll slow down and switch back over to forward up to the speed that I have programmed in there. And at that time, I can engage one of the cruises or use the handle to accelerate. So now we're going to take a look at the Accu terminal and the drive system readouts and adjustments that can be made there. So in the upper right-hand corner, we'll start in the upper left-hand side there. It's showing us that we're in neutral, and then there's a number 2 next to it. So that's saying we're in neutral, but the transmission is in high range. If it had a number one on there, that would be for low range. Next to that, a picture of the interrogator itself, giving you this ground speed reading next to it. And then to the right again, you'll see the gear symbol, and it says auto. So that means our TMS is engaged. If I disengage TMS, you'll see that it switches to manual. Back to the left side underneath the N, that's a picture of a field. Let's say we're in field mode. If I switch to road, you see the icon changes to a road mode. And you should also have noticed that the cruise control settings have changed as well. So back to field. So now below I have cruise 1 and cruise 2. And if I go to field or road, you can see that cruise 1 has changed and cruise 2 has changed. So I have four different cruises, two for in the field, two for on the road. Right above cruise 2, you'll see a picture of the joystick. So that means that we're in joystick control. To adjust the cruise controls, we have several different ways that we can do it. One, we can tap in the box. The calculator will come up. You can enter in speed that you want to go. So when you engage cruise one, you'll now go 14 miles an hour. You can also engage the cruise, use the increase and decrease to adjust it at a tenth of a mile an hour per time you touch the switch. Or you can use the hydro handle to get you to the speed that you want to be at and then press and hold the cruise speed or the cruise switch on the handle to lock in that speed. Next, we have the shuttle shift, which to get to those settings, touch the interrogator icon in the upper right-hand corner. And that takes it to the half screen. And now you'll see I have my shuttle forward and shuttle reverse speed. So these are the pre-programmed speeds that when I do a shuttle shift, it will go to. Again, just like touching the cruise controls, I can adjust the speed. I touch it in the box. Type it in the speed that you want. 